Welcome back to another mail day video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I picked up this last past month. Really cool pickups. And then at the very end of the video, I'll show you what I also got in a deal yesterday. So let's start going over these. First, I got a few hockey cards. So I got a Mike Madano OPG Premier. And I got a Patrick Waugh second year um, OPG. And this card looks sweet. Uh, if you take a look at that. Really, really nice on this Waugh. Definitely high grade on that one. And now we have some baseball. So I got the 2011 Diamond Anniversary of Chris Sale. I get a Walker Bueller um, Chronicles numbered to 99. A Walker Bueller Refractor. Basketball wise, I got a few Tim Duncans before the price spiked up. So a rookie card right here, a little off centered, but besides that looked really sharp. And I got an EX, uh, Tim Duncan. I really like these uh, really, really sharp cards. Wish they made more stuff like this today, but yeah. So got that one right there. Got a Flaherty number to 25. A Devers Select. This one is numbered to 299 right there. A Devers Prism. And this one's numbered to 25. That right up there. And then in here, I have a few other cards, which I'll open up and show you right now. So in this lot, there is, I think, three cards. I have to double check. But all three of these were like $8. So I, it was a Prism Devers Hyper number to $2.99. A hollow Jack Flaherty Optic. And then this is like a gold or orange. I don't really know. Also of Jack Flaherty, so... At $3 a card, you can't pass those up. Flaherty Endeavors are beasts. They're going to break out this season, in my opinion. Put those up here. And then I also got a Devers. This is actually a piece of a sock, I think. Yeah, it is a sock. A part of the B. Really, really cool. And this is from Immaculate Collection, numbered 404. These boxes are expensive, so when I saw the price on this, especially as being a rookie card, I couldn't pass it up. It's really cool. I wish the B was a little bit more full, but still having uh, the majority of the sock here, is an, it's an awesome uh, relic with that. Next, a few graded cards that I picked up. So first, I got a 2011 Chris Sale. I got this cheaper than it cost a grade, and Chris Sale's a beast. It's not numbered, but uh, a BGS9 of that that over here and then a few tiffany cards so i got a john smoltz tiffany these are all eights by the way of that i got the one and only randy johnson this is a tops traded psa8 and then i also got a another madano this is an opg premiere uh, psa9 short card I want to share another thing I recently got and share the letter. So I posted a picture on a Facebook group of uh, the 1951 Cincinnati red card that I had. And someone reached out and wanted to send over some cards because he saw that I was into the hobby and I was pretty young into vintage. So I'm read out this letter. Really, really awesome. And I got permission before that. So Ryan, as mentioned, these are not much, but hopefully you'll add joy of your collecting vintage. The three cards are a 1951 Topps Redback Dom DiMaggio. Yes, brother of the famous Joe. A 1952 Topps Joe Berardino. His baseball career didn't amount to much, so he was better known as an actor. And a 1953 Topps Bob Feller. Many years ago, I owned a 1951 Topps Redback and Team Set, Topps Redbacks and Team Card Set, along with several of the 51 Topps Connie Mack and current All Star cards. I started working on a blue back set, but found they were so expensive, so I never completed it. I also had a complete 1952 Topps low number set, 1 to 310, with several high numbers, including a beautiful PSA 4 mantle, but that is another story. And a complete 1953 Topps set. There are times when I really miss those vintage cards. However, I never really had any friends or mentors in the hobby, so I was isolated. On top of that, I had been cheated numerous times by dealers and other collectors trying to make money. Eventually, I lost interest and sold off everything. These few cards, along with a few Reds cards I'm sending over to another guy that commented on, on your post, are pretty much all I have left. I still have a Pete Rose collection that I'll keep along with some Joey Votto cards. I hope these cards will find a good home in your collection. My only request for this gesture of friendship is that you pay it forward in the future when the opportunity arises. 
take care and good luck collecting Tom Hines. And Tom, I really, really appreciate these cards. I actually almost picked up a 53 Bob Feller at the Dallas National Show. Um, there was one that was like a PSA 3 or 4 that was decently priced. And I think the 53 is one of my favorite set designs, especially in the 50s. It looks really, really cool. It's kind of like Americana look. Um, I can't thank you enough for sending these out. I, I really, really appreciate it. So let me show these three cards for you guys. So first, the Dom DiMaggio. Really, really cool here. And this is the 1951 Redback. So 51 Tops had the team cards, which you saw in another video. And then they also had these. And this is the first one of these that I now have. I'll show the Bob Feller last. Next one is the Johnny Berardino. And this card looks really sharp. And this is actually my first 52 card. I don't have any 1952 Tops cards. I know um, there's a <laughs> that set has a lot of Hall of Famers, a lot of expensive cards because of the first set. But yeah, I don't have any yet. So this is really, really cool to add to the PC. And then the last one, this is the card I like the most. Um, Bob Feller, amazing pitcher, but it's just such an iconic card. It's in really, really good shape too. I know you see this a little bit down here, but um, for all the 53 cards, they got damaged really easily and anything shows on them. So I did pick up a Roy Campanella before at the Popka show. Um, but either way, I really, really like this Bob Filler card. It has awesome color, awesome Americana look on it. And you can see the back right here. So thank you so much for these cards, man. I really, really appreciate it. You didn't have to do that. And these are going to be staying in my PC forever. So the last two cards I picked up, I actually got yesterday in a deal. I saw these posted online and I bought these right away. So the first one is a 1955 YD4. Now check out the condition on this one right here. Bang. So this is a PSA 7 YD Ford and this is the Bowman set so you can see that they base it off of old television sets right there and they put the player in the middle along with the names so card is super super sharp I think I have one or two Whitey Fords I don't remember I don't remember if I sent any in the 60s uh, PSA submission as well but I definitely did not have a 55 Ford so this is a really really cool pickup especially as a 7 and then the last card I got was my first ever Babe Ruth. So the slow reveal on this card right here. I don't know if it's all going to show in frame. I'm going to try my best. But it's a 1932 Sonola Babe Ruth Type 2. And I think this is personally undergraded. But you guys should let me know in the comments down below. Let me move the camera up a little bit. Bang. The Ruth. The, my first ever Ruth card. Now I got a Ruth and a Gehrig. And honestly, I would have never thought I would have a Ruth and a Gehrig about a week ago. So this card got graded a two. The reason why I think was this corner over here, there's a small crease. And then on the back, um, there's a little staining. But from 1932, I've seen worse cards grade uh, threes and fours. I think it's very undergraded. Now, what's really cool about this card is it's actually German. So if you flip over to the back, I know it's going to be horizontal, but the only English is saying right over here, Babe Ruth. The rest of it is all in German from the 30s. So it's a really, really cool card. Um, it's one of only two baseball players in the set. Another player in the set was a Japanese player. Don't remember the name on top of my head. Um, if anyone knows, you just comment down below. But... Anyways, this is the first uh, Ruth card I've ever got. I know one day I do want to get the Gaudi cards. They're really, really cool, and I love the Gaudi sets. But until I can afford those, I'm going to get this one right here. And this is an awesome PC card. And I didn't, I never thought I'd own a Ruth card. So really, really cool pickups. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. And also let me know what you picked up this past week. I'll see you in another video.